starts or his early successes. Mozart's favourite no. success did not last very long. <laughs> Come on, John. If Mozart wasn't dead when the guy started this story, he would have been by the time he finished it. Didn't well enough. His music wasn't no. <laughs> Mozart didn't fit in well enough. His style. This is thought to be a domestic case, and one which arises from a relationship between a British serviceman and a German woman, which happened in Germany several years ago. Now this guy seems completely prepared. Do we have to have my legs in it? <laughs> the 1942 Heisman Trophy winner died early today at his Athens home. He was 70 degrees. Sinkowitz. Was Let's have him try that again. The correction, Frank Sinkowitz, who died early today at his home in Athens, was 70 degrees. Jim? This reporter's not letting a little thing like a don't walk sign keep him from his story. Ooh, let's see that again. Too bad he doesn't come with an airbag. Our reporter is questioning a safety inspector. The inspector's answer? What's this news hound going as for Halloween? An accident victim. Well, uh, it's just a short trip. Meet a weather lady who should follow her own advice. Okay, it's rainy out here right now. I'm going to make this quick because this is exactly what I tell you to go inside away from. We do have some lightning. We do have... Well, looks like Christian and I get to do weather tonight. Unlike this field reporter, news anchors don't have to brave remote regions or malicious mailboxes. Entertainment on Unst is nothing to write home about. Riding her hog around her local neighborhood village, when suddenly she realizes she's being filmed by one of the world's best-known paparazzi. I want you to get this on your tape. I just want you to know what a slimy, low-life I think you are. Okay, I think this. I hope this has sound. This is like one of my few things that I can do by myself. This is the town where I live, and you are a slimy, low-life. Okay. Yeah. You go to bed at night knowing that this is what you do. You know, I'm not in Hollywood right now. I'm not going to a premiere. This is where I live. You're not a man. <laughs> I couldn't have paid for that. Notice how this fascinating interview has the anchor in the studio totally riveted. We're getting out to the war. And I think it's really sad to see the Deutschmark go. The parent company of Swiss Air sees a difficult year ahead with signs of a slowdown. And look at this business. thrilling report. <laughs> We'll come back to Ross later. Uh, hey, Charlie, uh, can we get a little more light on Al here? That'll do. Yeah, my. Were you big fans of both of those in the 80s? Kind of. Fame more than anything, because in the TV series... We couldn't just leave you with the impression that it's only reporters who get taken by surprise. Here, it's ex-Spice Girl Jerry Hallowell, Who's in the Hang hot on. seat? Me and my sister was kind of do a half split. Like I can do it. Like that. You have to leave. Don't worry, we did. There's Jane now talking about the emotions man shares with chimps: love, compassion, fear, despair, jealousy, <laughs> certainly joy, <laughs> mischief. Mischievous. <laughs> uh, this is the place of the grass. On this safari, Monty Python's Michael Palin is the victim of a fierce attack. There's a lot of elephants. Ow. Oh, I've just been bitten on the nipple. <laughs> 
<laughs> like this reporter's ironic story about the failure of the British school system. David Bell says communication and behavioral skills among five-year-olds are now at an all-time low. Some are even unable to speak properly when their primary <laughs> education begins. If you spot it in a river or a ditch or a pond, then make a note of where it is. Wildlife reporters live life on the edge and sometimes fall off it. <laughs> This reporter wanted to do his story from the deepest part of the jungle. <laughs> and he's not there yet. <laughs> now he's there. <laughs> For a reporter, being on top of a story is usually a good thing. <laughs> They're a mountains, and they're a mountains, and believe me, this is a mountain. This reporter has spent all day scaling this wild terrain. Hard work, sure. Three members of the camera crew behind. <laughs> Thank you, I love you too. <laughs> but look at the rewards. Here's an Aussie who's just not having a good day, mate. And finally, I'd like to make my own contribution to Australia's space race. And finally, I'd like to make my own contribution <laughs> to Australia's space race. Whoa! <laughs> Look, we got a problem, Houston. <laughs> this next reporter is scaring up a new story. Residents in Monterey said they heard horns coming. <laughs> or is it the other way around? That nose for news I was talking about right. is now a little bloody. Here, the danger's below the nose and below the belt. This pit bull of a reporter has just one more question. Where's the nearest emergency room? While doing a winter sports report, this guy gets to experience the snow conditions firsthand. We're on the Col de Chirini, 5,000 feet up in the French Alps. It's midnight, and there are 6,000 people here. Three, two, oh, three, two, one. You know what I admire most about news people? They've got nerves of steel. Lord, oh, oh! <laughs> My page are just <laughs> This is why I don't wear the damn things, because they scare the And dirty minds. I like that part, too. It wasn't good for you, because it was good for me. 